731. New year, new rules. There are several new laws taking effect in our area starting next month. So Amy Feldman is joining us, lawyer, to break down some of them right now. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So we're going to go through them by Philly, PA, Delaware, New Jersey. So let's start off with Philly. What are some of the big new laws happening in town? So there are actually two big sure. new laws that you'll need to know about in Philadelphia. The first one is a benefit for people who commute by mass transit or by bicycle. Now you can put those money, that, those dollars that you spend on your mass transit in pre-tax dollars. That's oh. a big benefit to people. Or you can get your employer to buy those tickets for you and then just deduct it as pre-tax income. So that'll be a big benefit come 2024 when you do your 2023 taxes. That's a nice one. That's a good incentive. The second one that's really important to know is that there were so many people who had their houses damaged by unscrupulous contractors who were working on, you know, their neighbors, particularly in row homes, where the neighbors were having construction and their house became uh, structurally unsound. So a new law requires that all contractors who are digging five feet deep have to get an excavation license. They also have to have a site-specific safety manager and finally, and probably most importantly, a $2 million liability oh, yeah. insurance policy that will cover the damage that they create. So that's a very important one. Because there was a number of lawsuits and and there's no, no money left it. and there's no money left for the people who are harmed let's uh, continue in Pennsylvania here and this one's very interesting decriminalizing the test strips to test people for fentanyl correct that had been weirdly enough characterized as drug paraphernalia so because there were so many of the more than 5,000 overdose deaths in Pennsylvania last year 78 percent had been the result of people who unwittingly took drugs that had been laced with fentanyl so now there are these test strips that give people protection where they can know if there's fentanyl in the drugs they're taking the idea is to decrease those number of overdose deaths done accidentally yeah because that'd be a crisis oh People are getting paid more in Delaware. Good news. That is good news yep. for people in Delaware. It's going up to $11.75 an hour for all people who are working at the minimum wage. You now have a, a, a raise. And also some good news for student athletes. Yes. You can use agents to yes. get money. Yes. Delaware is jumping on the band bandwagon for the name, image, and likeness, which is it's not just that you can get paid per the Supreme Court decision, but also you can use an agent in Delaware if you're a student athlete. That'll help. Also, New Jersey is raising their minimum wage by more. Delaware's got to get that on net to raise it up even more in PA. But uh, New Jersey is really nice. New Jersey is very nice. New Jersey is going to a highly specific $14.13. Very interesting, cents. right? I yeah. can't imagine hey, what that debate was. I tell you, was. every penny makes a difference. That really is does. true. Yeah. But fourteen fifteen, that would have been too much. Fourteen thirteen, I think we can all agree on. Yeah. Yeah, but not Pennsylvania, unfortunately. There's also a recreational marijuana Exercise tax or excise, excise tax? Excise tax, yeah. yeah. So it well, had not been. That I exercise, but I <laughs> exercise people's <laughs> right. Smoke it up. <laughs> Eating more, not so much yeah. exercise, right? Um, but the excise tax, which had been $1.10 in New Jersey, is now increasing to $1.52. So a slight increase, but as you said, Thomas, every penny counts. So that's where people will wind up losing their money. I found this one very interesting. There's a lot of controversy over uh, switchblade regulations in Pennsylvania. Who knew that in Pennsylvania, you know, I guess the gun owners have the NRA to lobby for them, but there and is they have actually a lobby for switchblades. Yes, the knife rights lobbyists have gotten an old Pennsylvania law that that prohibited switchblades or automatic knives as they call them. Now that's being repealed. So you can carry it so long as and this is a caveat, you can't carry it if your purpose is to injure another and there may be some counties or municipalities, okay. right? So you can well, keep it for your own protection now. You need to peel that orange, you know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it can be very exactly difficult. right. Very yep. interesting. Buckle yep. up, 2023. Amy, always good to see you. Great to see you too. Thank you. Yep. Thank you.